Welcome back, it's your boy Ming from Stuff May. We're going to be opening up some Japanese cards that I got recently at Whatnot. First, we'll go from earliest release to the newest. I got two packs of those, which is Fusion Strike. Got two packs of the Japanese Brilliant Stars. Got eight packs of the Japanese Lost Origin. Got two packs of Silver Tempest. And I got three packs of Paradox Rift. All right, so we got a nice little mixture to open up. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start opening up. Of course, Fusion Strike is the earlier set out of all these. And these sets, I'll use the full tab, or at least try to use the full tab. Full tabs do not really work out for me, but we'll go ahead and open it up. I apologize, I do not know all the card tricks for these. So, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Let me know at the end of the video which one is your favorite pool out of any of these. I'm not sure if these packs are weighed or not. So, hopefully we at least get some hit. Alright, so, we're going to get nothing out of Fusion Strike. We'll open up our second pack of Fusion Strike and see if we can get anything out of that one. I pull tab. Definitely not kind of me. All right. Let's go ahead and open up the second pack. All right. Get the trash can a little closer. That way it's not a mess afterwards. I mean, these pack got a couple of scrapes on it, but it's all right. Hopefully, we get one hit, at least one hit. And there we go. We got a V card. Beautiful, beautiful looking. Man, I forgot. I forget this Pokemon's name. But he looks adorable. And we got our first hit of the day. So not too shabby. We'll go ahead and sleeve him up. I cannot believe that I'm having a brain fart right now. And I'm forgetting forgetting these Pokemon's names. It's all right. Forgive me. All right. I do not know all of them by memory. I'm, I'm more or less, I'm not going to try to front and know, like, I know all the names. I more or less know the original 151. All of them. And the rest, I kind of know the ones that I like. If I don't like them, they're not my favorite Pokemon, like, or Ninja, or the new ones like Frigatito or whatnot. I have a hard time remembering their names. Let's go ahead and open up the Japanese version of Brilliant Stars, or the equivalent to our Brilliant Stars, and see if we can get anything out of this one. I definitely pulled a lot of this card in the Japanese version. Hopefully we'll get something out of this one. But only time will tell. And we got a regular full card, which is not bad. I know the pool rates are... Sometimes they can be harder on these because they don't bring you enough. And you never know if the pack is weight. But we'll just go ahead and move on to the last pack of Brilliant Stars. And I have a feeling we're not going to get a hit out of that one, but that's all right. Now we're going to go and move over to the Japanese version of Lost Origin. All right. Let me know if you guys are still opening up any of the new sets or if you guys like the older sets better. I do know Sword and Shield had a lot of amazing sets. And Strong and Violet. They're a hit or miss for some people. That's all right. This is a decent variety. So, we'll go ahead and see if we can get some pulls. I'm trying to go faster. There's a lot of packs. And we didn't really get no hits on that one. Let's move on to the second pack of Lost Origin. And 
There we go. Not bad. Let's see. We are, I think, two, two, two three packs in. From the Wall of Origin. We'll see if we get anything. I do have a couple of the new sets coming on the way to open up. So definitely stay tuned if you guys like the newer sets or let me know if you want guys want to see the older sets because I do got some older sets like the Amazon celebrations pack that I haven't opened up yet. Would like to do that, so we'll see. Maybe on a future video. As well, I do have the hidden fates charger that box with ten to open up still. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a hit in this one. At least one of these lost origins that'll give us a hit. And there we go. And I'll take it. Every max card is beautiful. Definitely gonna sleeve that up. Alright. That's probably my favorite hit of the day so far. Let's see what we can pull. Let's see if we're gonna get another lost organ pull. I'll take that. The only bad part about the Japanese set is they only bring you five cards. I'm used to the 10 card packs, even though I love Japanese cards. But, I don't know, a lot of the cards, value wise, America has been taken off. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. Let's see if we can get anything out of this Lost Origin pack. That's beautiful. Very, you know what? That is adorable. And I'm gonna sleeve it up just because I can. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right, two more packs. Oh, this lost origin. All right, let's go. I do remember in case you guys haven't watched, I opened up an Amazon pack that had Chilling Rain. Or people like called chilling pain and I ended up pulling a beautiful Maltras card very I want to say it was the second best card out of the set which is very amazing so definitely check that video out if you guys want to I will link that in the description below bought it for about $13 for three packs and ended up pulling the second best card out of the set. And it was, it was a good time. All right, now we are moving on to Silver Tempest. Definitely pulled some decent cards out of Silver Tempest. I bought, uh, yep. actually one of the first cards me and Steph pulled together was from Silver Tempest. It was the Unknown card. Still have it. Probably won't get rid of that because it has some amount of value. In one of our first videos we did together and I actually pulled something. Alright, our last pack of Silver Tempest, and then we'll move on to Paradox Rift, which is a newer set. And this one looks like it might have something. What will we have? Very beautiful looking V card. The detail on that one looks amazing. Not the craziest hit of Silver Tempest, but I'll definitely take it. All right, Paradox Rift. Let's go. Three pack. Oh, actually, same collected four packs of Paradox Rift to open up. And let's see what we get. Hopefully we pull something that I have an American. That way we can have both sets. I do have a lot of cards in both Japanese and American versions. Or USA versions or North America, whatever you guys want to call it. 
should be nice to add more to that collection. Let's go. Paradox Rift. I want to say it was a slept on set. Beautiful looking EX card. Looks like Paradox Rift. A lot of people slept on it. I think a lot of people. I don't know if the set of City of Flames overshadowed it or if it was. One fifty one, but Paradox Rift is definitely an underrated set. Everybody who opens up, I'm doing back to back hits. Everybody who opened up Scarlet and Violet sets, I want to say a lot of people forget about Paradox Rift. I remember, of course, 151, Obsidian Flames for all its many Charizards. And of course, the Return of the Shiny cards. My favorite set is Twilight Masquerade. It has an adorable Eevee card, as well as the wonderful and beautiful Greninja that I have not been able to pull yet. I love Greninja, so definitely will try to get that one. Last pack of Paradox Rift. Let me know what you guys thought about Paradox Rift. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one of these was your favorite. Till next time, let's customize the world. See you guys on the next one. Later.